Hi guys and welcome to part 13 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. In this part we are going to learn how to add our first view. On the last part we created our first controller, injected our services and then we created our first view result. On this part we are going to create our first view and we are going to put all the views on a new folder named views. Before creating your new view you need to add an additional folder inside the views folder and we name it drip. The name is not random, it has to be the same like the controller's name. Inside this folder we add our first view, which is a simple MVC view page. The name of the view needs to be the same like the action name, which in our case is list. And we add it. For the moment I'm going to add some static HTML, so inside the div tag I add an h2 tag. And I write all drinks are shown here. We are going to use this view to show our drinks. So the model for the data in here is going to be of type drink. To use a drink class we need to first use its namespace which is drink and go data models. It will show more than one drink so for that we are going to use the i enumerable of drinks. Let us write some razor code. So for that we are going to start with the add symbol. So the IntelliSense knows that we are going to write some razor code. We write for each loop. So we have from drink on the model, which model in this case is a list of drinks. Let us display the list of drinks. So for that we could create a new div. And inside this div we display the name of the drink as h4. And the name of the drink is going to be drink name at drink.name. And except the name, we display the price as well, which is going to be drink.price. We add an additional converter at the end for the price, which is to string dot c. To string dot c stands for the currency. Let us start our application. By default, we get a not found 404 status code. But for now, we could access our view by writing the controller name and action name, which is drink list so here we have all our drinks so until now we have created our controller view result we have the view and now we get the data on the next part we are going to learn how to use view models to get data to our view so thank you for watching and see you on the next part